Are you ready, Addie? Are you ready to meet everybody? Hi, everybody. I'm sleepy. I'm hoping she'll wake up sometime during this video so you guys can actually get to see her a little bit better. We are here to do Addie's one week update. Yay! She is actually one week and two days old today. I was gonna do this video on Monday, but I wanted to wait to see how much she weighed and our appointment wasn't until like way later in the day and then by the time everything got settled down it was dark outside and I just hate dark videos. So we're finally getting around to doing this video and she is one week old. So we have a lot to update on. We're gonna update on her and we're gonna update on me, how I'm doing postpartum. This is going to be kind of like a two-parter video. It's gonna be all about her and then all about me and how I'm doing postpartum. So first we're gonna do all about Addie. This is Adeline Jade and she was born on November 14th at 5:27 in the morning. I definitely am planning on doing a like labor and delivery video talking about like my thoughts and feelings on like how the birth went because obviously if you guys watch that video it was pretty insane so I'm definitely planning on doing one of those videos as soon as I can get around to it things are just so insanely busy right now you have no idea it is like way beyond what you could imagine we have a, a lot of stuff going on between her being born and there's been like family stuff going on so there's just a lot of things going on right now so it's been a very very busy time in our lives for sure I'm gonna go ahead and start with her she was born I don't even know where to start when she was born she weighed six pounds eleven and a half ounces and she was 18 and a half inches long so she was absolutely perfect she was my second biggest baby Landon was 8'8 so he passed her by kind of a lot but she was my second biggest and Lilia was 7'6 so she wasn't much under her overall she is just like an extremely perfect amazing happy baby and oh gosh I think she's pooping <laughs> Ew, that's not very ladylike. Overall, she is just a really great baby. She's so easy, and I know she's only one week old, so I really don't want to jinx myself, but she is just so, I could not have asked for a better addition to our family, especially with how crazy, hectic our lives are all the time. So I guess I'll go ahead and start with her weight. We had an appointment with our midwife uh, one day after she was born. So she was born on Monday, we had an appointment on Tuesday evening and then we had another appointment on Friday and then we had an appointment the day that she turned one week old So each of those times she just kind of checks up on her and makes sure she looks okay Make sure there's no jaundice stuff like that and weighs her and does all that kind of stuff So at one day old she had actually lost a significant amount of birth weight And that was probably partially because I had been transferred to the hospital and I was there all day long, but also just because my milk hadn't come in yet. Every single baby will lose weight after they're born. It's just like a given. It's just a matter of how much they lost. So one day old, she was down to six pounds, 14 ounces. So she had almost lost a pound from her birth weight. Are you pooping again? Did you hear that? But since my milk had not come in yet and everything else with her was perfectly fine, <laughs> you see her pooping face. This is her pooping face. You want to be swaddled, don't you? But your outfit is so cute. I don't want to swaddle you. One thing about this girl is that she absolutely loves to be swaddled. So little little side note. So at one day old, like I said, she had lost, she was down to six pounds, 14 ounces, and she was born at seven, seven pounds, 11 ounces. So she had lost a decent amount of weight. I think we might take an eating break. She said, Mama, I've made room in my belly now. I can have some more, of course. Wait, so anyway, my milk had come in Tuesday evening, or like in the middle of the night, my milk came in. So I was, it was like a day and a half after I had had her. She's such a great nurser. So by her Friday appointment, she was already back up to seven pounds, five ounces. She had gained back like a significant amount of weight. So that was really good. And then by her one week appointment on Monday, she was exactly one week old, she had already passed her birth weight. So she is now, as of two days ago, she's probably already bigger now, but as of two days ago, she was seven pounds, 14 ounces. So already passed her birth weight, which is absolutely fantastic. You want them to be up to their birth weight by two weeks old. So she had passed it way before she needed to. I guess mama's milk knows what it's doing after five kids, right? I definitely think that that's because of how great of a nurser though she is. She has no problem with it. She, I just nurse on demand. I never do like the whole schedule stuff, but she has such a great latch and she just nurses so great and she does not spit up almost ever like she rarely spits up she does however poop through her diapers and through her clothes quite often it took me a while to kind of get the hang of diapering 
a girl again because let me just say I feel like changing boy diapers is so much easier than changing girl diapers I don't know what it is there's just like so many crevices and stuff it's just complicated so it took me a little bit to kind of get back into diapers it's been a long time since I've had a girl in diapers sort of got the hang of it now and since I got the hang of it she's been pooping out of her outfits less I finally found the trick you have to like pull the tabs on the sides all the way out all the way to like cover her whole entire bottom but there was a few days there where she kept pooping through all of her outfits like literally every single outfit I put on her she pooped through one thing about her is that she loves to sleep on her stomach and this scares the crap out of me let me just start by talking about our whole sleeping arrangement but we have a swing for her we have a one of those like sleep rockin sleep rockin nappin rock sleep and play sleep and play I don't know what they're called I'll insert a picture that thing we have one of those for her. She has a crib, obviously, which she hasn't even touched, I'm gonna be honest. And then, of course, there's mommy's bed. So, we've tried each and every one of those, besides the crib, to put her in to sleep, and oh my god, it just got so bright. We have tried every single one of those to put her in to sleep, and she doesn't want to sleep anywhere but on mommy. That's pretty much it. She just wants to sleep on me all the time. At nighttime, she sleeps perfect. She pretty much sleeps through the night. She'll sleep, she'll wake up, like, maybe twice to nurse, but there's a catch. She has to be touching me all night long. As long as she is like on top of me or right next to me, she sleeps perfectly. But I swear, no matter what position I put her in, she always somehow ends up on her stomach. And it's like, kid, you're one week old. You can't roll over. I don't know how this is happening. I am such a light sleeper. I'm, I've always been a light sleeper, even before I had kids. Like the tiniest little sounds wake me up. Everything wakes me up. So I swear I'm up every 10 minutes. And it's not because she's waking me up. She's a great sleeper. It's because I'm waking up trying to make sure I didn't squish her or anything. I wake up constantly throughout the night to make sure that she's still there and alive and not sleeping on her stomach. I don't know how it happens, but she always ends up on her stomach. And when she sleeps on her stomach, she sleeps like a baby. She doesn't even need me there if I, if she's sleeping on her stomach. But obviously that scares me. You're not really supposed to have them sleep on their stomach. Specifically, she wants to sleep on her stomach with her butt in the air and her head to the left. So kind of odd, I know, but that is how she prefers to sleep all the time. At her three day appointment, the midwife said that she did have the tiniest slightest jaundice. She said to just nurse her and bring her out in the sun and then by Monday it was completely gone. It completely resolved itself on its own. She does not care for the passy in any way shape or form and I was not by any means against giving her the passy. We bought those little soothy ones, the ones that they give you at the hospital, the big green ones, and they're like a circle. We bought some of those for her and she does take them but she doesn't like it. She'll accept it if it's like in the car and the boob is not available then she'll take it but she, it really takes her a minute to kind of like get the hang of it and then once she gets the hang of it, she just kind of spits it out. She's like, I don't want that. Definitely don't think she's going to be a passy baby. She, she just wants the boob and then she wants to sleep. And she doesn't need the boob to sleep either, which is good. So at, at least as of right now, she doesn't need the boob to fall asleep. And I mentioned this a little bit, but she loves being swaddled. I mean, she just wants to be a baby burrito all the time. She wants to be tightly swaddled, just like she was crammed up in the womb. She doesn't like to be unwrapped at all. And my God, if you change her diaper, she screams bloody murder. That's pretty much the only time she cries. She doesn't even cry when she's hungry really she'll just kind of start looking around like ah oh, like waiting for a boob to fall in her mouth the only time she really truly cries is if you change her diaper or you take her clothes off she hates being naked she just wants her clothes on and she wants to be warm and she wants to be swaddled up super tight and preferably in mommy's arms another thing that i've noticed is that she sleeps so much better are you smiling she sleeps so much better when it's extremely noisy and i don't know like what how much she could really hear when she was in the womb but it was it's constantly noisy obviously in our house with a house full of six other kids and like this morning i actually put her down in her little rock and sleep and nap and whatever the heck that thing is the little rocker thing and she actually slept in there for a good two hours and that the only reason she slept in there so good is because the kids were running around screaming at the top of their lungs playing tag for some reason when it's extremely loud she sleeps so much better and then you put her in a quiet room and she's like oh i'm awake i'm awake she hates the sun she doesn't anytime i bring her near a window at all she closes her eyes she doesn't want anything to do with it and then i notice like at night time and if i make the room really dark she'll suddenly wake up and she'll look around she's like hey this is cool what am i looking at so she likes to be like in dark places which is total opposite of her mama i like the sunlight i like the brightness but 
That's definitely more like her daddy. Her daddy likes to be like in the darkness, hidden away from humanity. I'm gonna sound crazy right now. Okay, she's my fifth. I know that babies don't smile for a long time, uh, like intentionally, but she smiles so much while she's awake. It's not even necessarily while she's sleeping. In fact, I noticed her smile more when she's awake than when she's sleeping. So I don't know if it's just like a reflex, if she just has gas or what it is, because I know that it's, they don't really have the ability to smile yet, like with intentions to smile. That's not for a few more weeks, but she will look you straight in the eye and smile at you and she does it all the time. I hope this is portraying like how she's gonna be as a child and a human being in general, just like a happy baby, happy child, happy grown up, happy everything. But it's just so crazy how much she smiles. I don't know any newborn who smiles as much as this one does. And you know what's funny is that every single time I turn on the camera or pull out my phone to take a picture of her smiling, she freaking takes it off her face. So I guess she's more like her daddy in terms of being in front of the camera. She's a little camera shy still. Her umbilical cord is literally probably hours from falling off. It is still on her right now, but it's hanging by a thread. Like I feel bad dressing her right now because I'm afraid something's gonna just like yank the rest of it off. If it doesn't fall off tonight, it's gonna fall off tomorrow. Like it's seriously hanging by a thread. So her umbilical cord is still attached, but almost off. Another funny thing that I noticed about her is that she always likes to check things out. We call her Popeye because she likes to check things out with one eye open. So she'll just be like sitting there with her eyes closed and then she'll open just one eye just to kind of check it out and then she'll close it and go back to sleep. And she does it all the time and it's just super adorable. What else about you, Miss Adeline? Um, we do call her Addie, obviously. I've, if you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and all that stuff, I call her Addie quite a bit. I think I actually call her Addie more than I call her Adeline. Are you smiling? So yeah, I definitely do plan on calling her Addie. This is like the weird thing about the nickname Addie though. I, we can't quite figure out how to spell it. I think I prefer the spelling A-D-D-I-E, but a lot of other people put A-D-D-Y. So I don't think there's like a right or a wrong way to do it, but I kind of pictured it as being A-D-D-I-E. So spelling wise, I know a lot of people were getting confused about that, but I think I, when I spell out her nickname, it's probably gonna be with the I-E at the end. A ton of people are asking, what her hair color is and oh my gosh it is like the hardest thing to tell i truly think that she's going to be like strawberry blonde so like not quite red like mine is when i was born i was born with a crap ton of bright red hair i had a lot of it and it was a lot darker than hers is but it's definitely not blonde in the back at least on the top of her head it's very blonde she looks extremely bald but it's just because her hair is so blonde you can't even see it let me let me see if i can show you guys up close and personal huh so we have her hair on the top right here and you can see she has quite a bit of it it's just very very blonde and then in the back that's where you can really see the redness of it that's where the majority of her hair is so let me see if i can i'm gonna try not to piss her off but you can see right there on the back of her head it's kind of like a golden color right there in the back so that is what we're talking about when we say that she has the red hair i personally think it's more like strawberry blonde but um it'll be very interesting to see what it turns into i always kind of thought that she or he before we knew what it was was gonna have blonde hair i didn't think that there was a very high chance that that they were actually going to have red hair and to my surprise, it's a lot redder than I was thinking that it was gonna be. So, I don't know. I know babies can lose their hair and then it'll come back a completely different color. She'll probably come back a brunette and just surprise us all, right? But as of right now, it's definitely more of a reddish color in the back. And then on the top, it's more of like a blondish color. And her eyes, a lot of people are asking about her eyes and of course she's gonna stay asleep this whole video. Are you gonna wake up for us, Miss Addie? Hi, there she is. <laughs> But right now her eyes are just a dark blue. It's kind of hard to see. So we're not quite sure what color eyes she's gonna have. But as of right now, they are a dark blue Addy. We'll see, cause they change so much in their first like year of life. You wanna wake up for us? Oh, there's a smile. <laughs> see, you're not camera shy. But her eyelashes and her eyebrows are very, 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 very blonde. And that's definitely a redhead thing. My natural eyebrows and eyelashes are so blonde, I look like, look at, oh, hi. My eyelashes and, and eyebrows are so blonde that when you take a picture of me, like if you turn the flash on, I look invisible. So this is all makeup right here. This is Miss Adeline. Can you say hi? Hi, everybody.
that is actually it for the update all about Addy. I don't, can't think of anything else to update on. If anybody has any questions, definitely ask me in the comments below and I will get back to you. The next video is going to be all about how I'm doing postpartum. I'll show you guys my stomach and it'll be all that fun stuff. So make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will have all those links down below where you'll see daily pictures of Addy. The other thing before I go, I have a bunch of footage from her first week of life. If you've been a long time follower, I used to do the week of life videos and every week I would do weekly updates just of random videos from throughout the week that I took of the kids. So this whole last week, I do have a lot of footage of her and I wanted to post it before I posted this video, but one of my memory cards thinks that it's broken and so I'm kind of freaking out because it had the majority of the footage from her first couple days of life. So if I can't get it figured out, I'll just post the other footage that I have of her, but that would be such a bummer. If I can't retrieve that footage, I will definitely post all of that footage either this week or maybe next week. I don't know if I'll wait until I have two weeks of footage. I'm not really sure, but definitely expect that. Lots of up close and personal videos of Addie. There's your eye. <laughs> Oh, okay, there's the Popeye that we're talking about. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Who's that? Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll post those links down below. And stay tuned for my next video. I'll show you guys my stomach and talk about all things postpartum. And that's coming up next. So I'll talk to you guys for my next video. Bye. So I'm here today to do a baby haul video. I have been waiting for this for the whole last 10 months to go and just like have a huge shopping spree. Now that we finally know that we had a girl,